Oh, all right, everybody, what is going on? We're back for some more 2018 NFL Top 100 action. Now, we're going to crack right into it. It's number 24. We're in the top quarter, guys, the top 25. Travis Kouts, Kouchy, or Kouchy. I'm not exactly sure, but he's a tight end for the Chiefs. Let's do this. Whoops. Definitely got to get the screen recorder going or else I will kill someone. I will. Last one was Cam Newton. Let's crack into this. Yeah, I don't know that there's a better tight end in the NFL right now than Travis Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey. really? Big play for the Chiefs. Fires for Kelsey. He pulls it out. Kelsey, how many how many touchdowns did you get? Eight, eight or more. You're you're you're, you're killing it. Fifteen. Okay. Were you in Hawaii with Travis? I was. Yeah. He really he really loves it. He really loves the game. Are they brothers? Are they brothers, man? Oh my god, my computer is fucked. My computer screen is broken, man. Oh, it's so disappointing. I can't even watch anything. Oh, man. I literally cannot even fucking watch anything. It's so frustrating. Let's go. <laughs> Grab me for like five minutes. I'm doing the uh, top one. <laughs> That's awesome. Just go outside, ask the people in the Hawaiian church where the scooters are. Because they're in your name. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, man. I, being a little brother, I hate when I gotta be the more mature one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Guy's been on the earth two years more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's even close to more mature. <laughs> Crack up. Don't stop me up, baby. Travis Kelsey has matured into the man Andy Reid and the Chiefs call on when they need a big play. <laughs> Travis Kelsey led all tight ends in catches and yards after the catch. <laughs> It's a big catch, eh? For how you handle this guy. Big Not catch. only is he an incredible athlete with incredible size for the position, he's got a great. You ball. can't have his brother giving him a rap. Of course he's gonna talk him up. Skills, he's got great speed. He jumped over by about seven, eight people this season. It's the 300 yard hurdles every week with Travis. <laughs> the 300 yard hurdles. <laughs> Hey man, that's good. Ah! I still have flashbacks from playing him this year in KC, and he jumped from like the five yard line and sailed into the end zone. He leaped into the end zone. I don't even know how that was like. That was a play. nice move from the very start to the very finish. Possible to jump 15 feet, let alone with a football in your hand and trying to dodge people. I guess he was intent on just jumping over everyone. That's the first jump on the drive, and then this. I'd say this one won the goal for The only thing about doing that, man, is is the risk of someone coming in, knocking your feet out, and you flipping over in the air and landing on your head. That's the only it's the only risk. And it's a risk I don't know if I'm willing to take. Now put on the gas pedal, baby! He was uh, lined up against Philly, uh, one on one with Malcolm Jenkins. Came off the ball, put just a little small, little dip on him, got the DB inside. It's a nice step. For a go ball, it was beautiful. It's Kelsey, big play on the I call that sauce at the line. That's such a good route right there. He got juke moves, honestly. I know he's a basketball that, player. Yeah, so he's crossing he does. Him. That's he's a nice juke. Routes. And he's just so big. When we played him on Monday night, I remember there was a play where he ran like a post in the red zone and he looked pretty covered. It looked like a tight window. Kelsey Drake by Breland. It did not matter. I mean, he has it all. You want a wide receiver and a tight end's body? Then you need to go for my guy, Travis Kelsey. Mean. That's exactly what you want. All right. So for some reason, the next one's not getting recommended. We're going to have to look it up. Um... 23, top 100 NFL 2018. Patrick Peterson. Why is it saying I've already watched it? You know going... 
I have not watched this. There's no way in hell. All right, Patrick Peterson. Peterson. Hey, my mic today? Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. The mic is clear. It's clear why Arizona's Patrick Peterson is a given on the top 100. He's been on the list the last seven years, and he's never missed a Pro Bowl. Whoa! Whoa! He's a true shutdown cornerback. I guess the players are only going to get better and better from here, aren't they? You can't really pinpoint one thing. If, if you could, if I could pinpoint one thing, then I would use that to my advantage, right? I'd just do the opposite of that. But the reason why Patrick Peterson is so good is because he's a cerebral football player. He's really intelligent when it comes down to the X's and O's of playing football. That's, why, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. So I can have a, a better picture. Because once I back now I'm going to be looking through you. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to see the quarterback. He's very smart, you know, and that's the unique thing about it. Um, and playing at that level that he plays at, you got to be smart. You can tell he watch film. You know, he jumps the route before it even happens. You know, he's just one of the top tier guys to the point where, you know, he's like one of the best. He's fighting to be one of the best to ever play the game. Being one of the best corners in the game has its drawbacks, like boredom. Yeah. Peterson shut down. That's it, man. That's it. Like, if you're a receiver against a great cornerback, you're not going to get the ball. And also, the cornerback's not going to have anything to do because that receiver won't get the ball. So I don't know if it's... Yeah, I don't know, man. You kind of want to be a cornerback that's like under the radar. You know you've got those interceptions in you, but you don't want to prove it just yet so you still get enough, you know, um, enough opportunities to sort of get that ball. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> on whole sides of the field, and as a result, didn't see many throws. It wasn't that many teams that actually tried him this year. Oh, it's off. I mean, on paper, you had a really boring year. I didn't get you a pick six, but I did not allow any catches. I know, I saw that. <laughs> but if you watch the film, I mean, he was just physical with everybody. From Mike Evans nice. to Hopkins. He played everybody tough. He's a top-notch competitor. He takes home challenges head first. He, he lines up against the number one receivers. And hey, take him completely out the ball game. And that's what you want in any defender. They make them change up their route. You know, they got to be precise with the way they coming off the ball, especially when you get hands on. That safety's going to be there for you. Yeah. Go up, press that. That's going to stop that speed out. You know, I'm pressing every time, baby. Yeah, but I'm saying, for the guy. He's shutting, not just. Nick Manut. Oh, too many messages. Let's keep going single player down but he's shutting down the whole side of the field and as a pass rusher uh you know those guys get deserve all the glory and, you know i had 17 sacks but you know a lot of credit is to the secondary and to patrick pierce 17 sacks holy shit all right 22 aj green who is the best player at your position in the nfl um aj green no it's you bro <laughs> don't say him no, 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 no. It's you, okay? Always you. Yes, toe drag swag on the side. Um, AJ Green. He probably got the best toe drag swag on the sideline in the league right now. He gets the Browns. Man, AJ made a remarkable catch on the sideline. Jumped over the guy and still was able to get his toes in when he probably had a foot, a foot of room on the sideline to get in box. A foot? Drag swag. A foot? I'd call that He's bloody good. two inches. He's good. AJ Green. I've heard this guy a lot. I've heard of this guy a lot. Never seen him. It's not just toe drag swag that makes AJ Green a threat on the sideline. The Bengals playmaker also possesses remarkable body control. He had ran a, a comeback route, and uh, when he drove back to the ball, you know, the ball was a couple inches over his head, you know, and he was able to catch the ball and then get the two feet down. You cannot. Create a top 100, not half of me. When you got a catch radius like AJ Green's, I mean, he's got arms like condor swings. His catch radius is. I like his boots. For a guy to be that long and stretch the way he does, and it makes the catch look easy. Some sweet he's orange boots. Top receiver on the lead. Oh no, black now. <laughs> Best on the field. Yep. Best on the field. Let's go. A guy like AJ Green, you know, who can run any route in the route tree at his size. You know, Dalton just throw it up and. You know, with a player like AJ, you just know he's going to come down with it. 
I like this guy. I like this guy. What's his name? Darius Slay. I do like him. I don't know why. He's got a lot of chains around his neck, come to think of it. <laughs> I might might do a Tlaib on him. A Keeb Tlaib. Him and Andy got a good connection with the back shoulder. That would just it's a right big, there, that's a big chain to snatch. I don't know if I can break it. But you can't even see it. Tough going for any defensive back in this league going up against AJ Green. Anytime that ball goes up, I mean... In my head and on defense, we already know he's going to get it. Really? Spectacular. All right, guys, that is the finish of another video. I hope you've enjoyed. We're nearly there. We're getting there. So I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll be back here very shortly to do number 21, Bobby Wagner. Oh, Bobby. The old wagger. The old Wagner. Linebacker for the Seahawks, number 21. I'll see you then. Peace out.